Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really refreshing name. At least I think it's pretty refreshing. Well, spring is certainly a refreshing time of the year. And I want to say to you all today, Happy Easter. It is Easter Sunday, and so I decided that I would get up and read a story to start your day off with. Now, the checklist is a little bit different. Um, in the morning, then in the evening, some things I like, though. So I'm looking at my checklist a little bit different here. And we're going to get started with that. Again, good morning. And I hope once you woke up and opened your eyes that you started with your prayer thanking our creator thanking god for waking you up this morning healthy and intact and with the energy that you need to take on the day so make sure you say your prayers we know that at night we say them before we go to bed well once we wake for the new day you also say your prayers now in the order in the checklist, it's up to you how you do it. I try to do it in the most um, easiest way, the most smoothest way. So, once you say your prayers, got that? Okay. Boys and girls, go ahead and get out of your bed. Now, at this point, you could either make your bed right then and there as part of that process. Or, depending on if you need to go relieve yourself in the bathroom, you can head straight to the bathroom. If you were able to sleep through the night without having to awake to go to the restroom, your bladder is probably ready by now. So make sure you go to the bathroom. But make your bed. If you cleaned your room already yesterday, you don't have to do it this morning. So you're good. Go ahead and proceed to the bathroom once you get out of bed. Now, guess what? Depending on how you do your checklist, you may be taking a bath or a shower in the morning. Okay? So if you don't do them at night, you may do them in the morning. Some people might do both. So make sure you cover that if you need to, okay? You definitely have to wash your face, brush your teeth, floss and rinse, okay? Make sure you do that. You definitely have to do whatever you need to do with your hair, okay? To make sure it's in order, all right? Again, if you have a morning medicine or vitamin that you need to take, or any equipment to assist you, make sure that your parents help you with that and supervise you with that. Once all of your bathroom duties are done, and including cleaning your ears and possibly your nose, because our sinuses, you know, they, they, get, they get goofy this time of year and season change. All right, so when you're done in the bathroom, after you go on and come up, cut out the light, you know, Go back to your bedroom to go ahead and put on your clothes for today. Which, if you do your nighttime checklist right, you've already picked out what you're going to be wearing. If not, you got to take a few minutes to decide what you're going to wear. Okay? You want to put on your clothes for the day. Once you're all dressed, from head to toe, maybe excluding your shoes yet because you're not quite leaving out the house. Or maybe you slide your feet in some house shoes, keep your socks clean or whatever. Go ahead and come on to your breakfast table so that you can have breakfast, okay? It's breakfast time at that point. And there is your checklist. Um, hey, if you guys are up to it and you want to do a morning story to start your day off or a morning chit-chat to get everybody ready and, and pumped up and excited for the day, feel free to do that as well. And that concludes the morning checklist of things you need to do before you take on your day, before you start your day. If I missed anything and you know you have something else on your checklist to do, you go ahead and do it. It's Easter Sunday, so you don't have to get ready to leave out the house for school, but you would want to make sure that you, if you are leaving the house after breakfast today, that you dress according to the weather, because spring can be a roller coaster. So dress for the weather, boys and girls. And make sure that you have everything that you need. If it's backpacks, or today, Easter baskets, you know, maybe baskets of candy. Wait, wait, I got a basket of candy. Ooh, it's kind of heavy. <laughs> All right.
right, let me check off the morning checklist. Check, check, check. Oh, and on the morning checklist too, just like at night, you still give your family and your pets your hugs, kisses, smooches, okay? Your I love yous, okay? You can never do that too much. Check, 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 check. Hold on. Check, 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 check. All right. All set. Now, I didn't forget. I just decided to do it after, but we're gonna shake our shakers. These are maracas, and these are literally eggs, and since it's officially Easter day, I figured I would shake the eggs. You see who I have on my lap? I don't know why Bunny wants to fit sideways. There he goes. Shake, 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 shake. It's Easter day. It's Easter day. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 it's Easter day, it's Easter day, and I'm gonna read a story to get you going, yay. All right, all right, all right, here we go. That's all of that said and done. Let's get started. And it is going to be a touch and feel book, and I'm gonna let you guys know that I might do a twofer, so get ready. It's a Disney book. It's my first Easter. Okay. And now I can feel how soft the little chick in the basket feels. Easter day comes every spring. What surprises will Easter bring? Ooh, the skunk's tail feels really soft. But don't go around trying to feel a skunk's tail. It's very soft. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Easter eggs hidden here and there, spring flowers blooming everywhere, there, everywhere. By the way, the tulips are looking really nice. Bad, bad, says the baby sheep. The little chicks say peep, peep, peep. The little sheep say peep. A pretty Easter bonnet with bows and ribbons on it. For those of you that are going to church this morning and you're dressing up um, really nice in your Easter outfits. Easter baskets full of treats like chocolate bunnies and jelly beans. Ooh, and these jelly beans, oh my goodness, they actually feel sticky. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that's pretty interesting. And it's little ones will delight in all the Easter surprises inside this touch and feel book. And yes, we did delight. I did just forget to read that um, beforehand. So that's the back of it. There's that. Now, let's get to our next story. And I may have read this one before, but it's worth a second read. It's called Planting a Rainbow by Lois Alert. Alert. Okay, you guys see that? Watch a rainbow grow. Because of all the spring flowers that come in the spring. Planting a rainbow. Let's see what we're doing. Here we go. Every year, Mom and I plant a rainbow. All my super readers, you're reading along. Can you see the words? In the fall, we buy some bulbs and plant them in the ground. And there's like orange tiger lily bulbs, red tulip bulb, orange tulip bulb. We got yellow daffodil bulb, blue hy hyacinth bulb, purple crocus corn, and purple bearded iris rhizome. Now, I'm not the specialist of the name for flowers and stuff. However, I gave it my best shot. <laughs> we order seeds from catalogs and wait all winter long. The, the floats, the morning glory, the zinnia, the aster, the cornflower, the marigold, daisy, and these are seeds. And you plant the seeds and you Take care of them, you water them, and they 
grow. For spring to warm the soil and sprout the bulbs. And that is exactly what is starting to happen. Again, we got tulips in different colors. We got daffodils. Um, the hyacinths. The crocus. Another set of tulips. Some more daffodils. Yes, so they're out here. You plant them according to how you want them to grow. Aren't they pretty and colorful? The rainbows of flowers. Very beautiful. That's a spring thing, it really is. Then it's time to go to the garden center to select some seedlings. Okay. Here we go. I know our flower day in um, our city is May 15th. Not that you have to wait all the way to the end, it's just a big special event. We sow the seeds and set out the plants in the soil. All right, so we got the names of most of these already. So I'm just going to show you the pictures. And watch the rainbow grow. And that's the fun part. It's like every day a little different. And if you kind of not really stay on top of it, but just kind of happen to notice, say a few days after you've planted or a week or two, You'll see the growth and grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and there they go. They grow, they grow and grow and grow and there they go. They grow, they grow and grow and grow. And some purple flowers too. Yep. Wait, wait, hold on. We have some red flowers. I'm skipping ahead. I'm skipping ahead. This is the part of the book where it gets fun. And orange flowers. Orange flowers. Orange. Ooh, let's see what other colors. And some yellow blooms. Yellow blooms. Ooh. Ooh, we. We grow something green or we grew something green. Ooh-wee. And some blue flowers. Look at how beautiful these flowers are, boys and girls. They are pretty. Okay, now I can finally get to this. And some purple flowers, too. Yay. Purple is my mom's favorite color. Red was mine. All summer long, we pick them and bring them home. And you can make bouquets out of them, too. But let them grow and be pretty in their natural habitat for a while before picking them, boys and girls. We want to be gentle and careful and respectful to the flowers. And we want to share the beauty with all that will have the opportunity to see them. All right, boys and girls, again, happy Easter. We hope that you have a great, wonderful day. And they right, guys? Yay. They're excited. They're excited. Okay. And also, you know, I've got C5 behind me. So let me show you. They're here. Some of them are on the couch with me because it's starting to get crowded back there. So <laughs> that's what we have to do, make our adjustments. All right, boys and girls. Well, listen, that's our story for today. All right. And I hope you enjoy your Easter and have lots of fun, okay? Happy Easter, boys and girls. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.